Welcome to Unicoi Systems. My name is Joseph Gullo and I'm the Channel Sales Manager for Europe. Today we're going to give a tutorial on the new InstaVoip Module Development Kit. Let's get started. Before you begin, there is some prerequisite hardware and software that you will need. The first is a Windows computer with USB and a serial port. The serial port can be built in or through a USB to serial converter. On the software side, you will need a serial terminal emulator for support for Y modem file transfer. In this case, we'll be using TerraTerm version 4.69. This is going to be for interacting with the bootloader and uploading binary images. You will also need Analog Devices Visual DSP++. This is going to be used for compiling a binary image. Keep in mind that only versions up to 5.0, update 8, have been tested. Update 9 is not supported due to known bugs. Next, we'll go over the different parts of the development board. It has the following parts. The InstaVoip module, power USB, serial ports, the network, line out and line in, headphone out and microphone in, an SD card slot, a reset button, and a JTAG connector. These are the directions for TerraTerm. This is what we're going to be using. Um, if you use other terminal software, you may have to adapt the procedure. So the first thing we're going to do is start TerraTerm. And it's going to prompt you to create a connection. So go ahead and click Serial. Pick the serial port that you're going to be using and then press OK. The next thing you want to do is go to setup, then click serial port, and we're going to want to change the baud rate to 115200, and then press OK. At this point, we're going to leave the terminal emulator running um, because you'll have just a short time to interact with the bootloader after the module is, par is powered on. So leaving it running in the background is no big deal whether we restart the board or it is off or whatever. So we'll just keep that there and just leave it. The first item that you'll need to plug in is the serial cable. You can either use a serial to serial cable or you can use a serial to USB cable. That's what we'll be using in this demonstration. The next thing is the ethernet cable. After that, the headphone out and microphone in. And finally, plug in the USB cable for power. The next thing we're going to do is find out the IP address using the terminal emulator TerraTerm. And we do this by just going back and, and looking at the TerraTerm window that we have open. And we'll go ahead and reset the development board so that it starts communicating over the serial port. Let that run and a C prompt comes up. In the C prompt, go ahead and type in I face and hit enter. This will basically give a list of networking interfaces and their associated IP address. The WAN interface is the de development board's network jack, which is the IP address to access it.
The second way that we can do this is we can actually use Wireshark. And we'll use Wireshark Shark to obtain a network packet capture and read the DHCP packets from the module. So to do this, we will go ahead and open Wireshark. We will pick our networking capture card, which in this case is the Intel R. And here we're going to go ahead and reset the board. And we're going to be looking for the DHCP packets that are sent across the network. So we'll let it run. And there we go. We got some DHCP. We'll go ahead and select DHCP AC. Go down to the bottom of this window and we will hit the plus sign for the bootstrap protocol. And right down here, under your client IP address, there is the IP address to access the module. We can do this one of these either two ways, they're both the same. And once we have the IP address, we'll go ahead and open up our web browser. And in the URL bar, we'll type in the IP address. And then hit enter. And now we're at the configuration page where we can set up a SIP account. We can actually have an interface to make phone calls. And we can actually use the demo that, that comes on the board or the one that we load onto the board. When a module is first powered on or reset, bootloader is started. Uh, it wait, waits briefly to see if a user wants to provide commands. If not, it tries to boot the binary image that's on there. Um, the bootloader's only interface is over the serial port, so you will use TerraTerm again. Um, when the bootloader starts, it will print a fusion boot prompt to the terminal, so we'll go ahead and do that. And basically, when this happens, we have two seconds uh, before the timer expires. Um, and if we don't do anything, then it will boot the binary image on there. Or you may see other text appear, which is from the binary image. Anyway, so we'll restart the development board, and the Fusion boot prompt will come up, and we'll hit Enter within that two seconds um, in order to allow it to accept commands. So we've restarted it hit enter a couple times and that will allow us to accept commands. Um, we'll basically have 25 seconds to input a command. Inputting a command does not extend this time period unless you're trying to load a new binary image. Uh, if you don't, there's only a few commands available so you can view that by uh, typing in help and hit enter or you can type in a question mark and then you can hit enter and they'll give you a list of available commands.